character with some strong leadership skills is never a burden, especially now that the MCU needs one. And I'm thinking Cyclops would be the one to fill in those shoes. A character that could prove just what the MCU needs in the hard times to come. But not without Jean Grey, his love interest, and the most important person in his life, because of whom Cyclops could achieve even greater things than ever before. The recent state of the MCU is all over the place, and we all get why that is, so many things happening all at once in different places across the universe. And I think that this trend will continue for a little while too, or at least until Phase 6 of the MCU, with Phase 5 of the MCU still bringing in a lot of new characters from different sides of the universe, much like the Fantastic Four and the mutants that have yet to make their official debut in the live-action universe of Marvel Studios but also some familiar faces that have already established themselves within the MCU, such as the likes of Captain Marvel or the Guardians of the Galaxy, for example. And then for everyone's story to somehow bring everyone together to face off against the next big baddie of the MCU, Kang the Conqueror in Avengers The Kang Dynasty. And then everyone who survived that encounter would go up against whoever will be in charge of the next Avengers movie that, to some extent, will adapt the Secret Wars storyline from the comics. My eyes are on Doctor Doom, and him being the one to put everyone on Battleworld, the planet where one of the biggest events of Marvel Comics happens. And I am suggesting Doctor Doom to be the organizer of this event, not only because he already shares a history like that of the comics, but also because of just how much hype the character has received over the last couple of months, with him making his debut within the MCU even before the Fantastic Four movie. And what does a group of people need the most? A leader, one that will make the right decision no matter the cost. Which brings me to Scott Summers, aka Cyclops, yet another mutant the MCU will surely bring in over the next couple of years before the big events to come. Scott is a mutant that has the ability to fire destructive optic beams from his eyes. He's also one of the first X-Men, who ascended from superhero leader all the way to a mutant revolutionary icon. Becoming an orphan together with his brother Alex after seeing his parents murdered by the hand of the Shi'ar Emperor Deken at a young age, he firstly manifested his abilities in the clutches of Mr. Sinister's orphanage. After escaping the orphanage, he was rescued by Professor Xavier, which was also the time when he joined his school that helped mutants to control their abilities. As a leader of the X-Men, Cyclops guided other mutants in countless missions, and after a while, he even became the headmaster of Xavier's school. And just when the mutant kind was on the brink of extinction, he transformed the X-Men and ensured the survival of the mutants. His feats led him to become an iconic figure for all mutant kind, and after the reshaped mutant society formed on the island of Krakoa, Cyclops was assigned as the nation's defender as the Captain Commander of Krakoa, being the de facto leader of the X-Men, who alongside his wife, Jean Grey, decided to hit that like button just like you should do if you haven't done so already. <laughs> I love it. But no, in reality, the two decided to reform the X-Men as a Krakoan superhero team fighting to protect the whole world. So all in all, you know what I'm trying to say. You can see his leadership towards his whole life, something the MCU will gravely need in the near future. Which is why I think he is one of the first contenders for the legendary X-Men family to be brought to the MCU. My statement of Cyclops coming to the MCU should be taken with a grain of salt solely because nothing concrete has been said about the character's debut. However, if the character gets the green light, then here I have a thing or two to say about how the character should be introduced, presented, and developed within the MCU, while also taking into consideration his history in the comics and Fox's X-Men movies as well. The movies from Fox did little to no justice regarding the character. He was always benched, despite his prominent history in the comics. For instance, I can't remember him doing anything important outside of obsessing over Gene. The new X-Men came through, and we got a younger version of the character, and he was not any better than what we've seen before. The character was simply forgettable, because the character did not have any development over the years, something the MCU will have to address. Now, yes, the character was always a bit of a jerk, 
but like many of his fellow mutants, his life was not easy on him. Cyclops is similar to DC's Batman. He's a hero who lost his parents, and a trauma that always stuck with him, and both of them come off as jerks because of their not-so-good social skills. Cyclops is also scared to attach to someone, simply afraid to lose that person. Oh, and speaking of attachments, Cyclops' first true love is the telepath Jean Grey, and the two are probably one of the most iconic duos of the X-Men franchise. Their relationship is a whole storyline on its own, something we could see developing in the MCU as well. And the love triangle that formed between them two and Wolverine was the one thing Scott did not like. Of course, yet another thing that could dive deeper into the character now that we know that Wolverine is coming to the MCU. A confirmation that came through the latest teaser about the third Deadpool sequel, and it's taking place within the MCU. And that's the thing. Seeing how Jean was pivotal for Cyclops' development, the MCU would need to get her too. She heavily influenced how Scott behaved both on the field and in civilian life. One thing interesting about Cyclops that the MCU could look to do with the character would be his fall from grace, something that the MCU did not manage to do so far. However, despite everything that happened to Cyclops, one thing that no one was able to take away from him was his leadership skills who I think would be a perfect fit now that Captain America is retired. Now, I know that Sam Wilson has inherited the role of Captain America, but that doesn't necessarily mean that he would be a great leader in the future, right? With everything said and done, I think seeing how the multiverse saga is shaping up, Marvel will give the mutants a shot, and a young social introvert like Cyclops may sound like a strange choice. But what he would lack in experience, he could make up for with his resolve and discipline. But for everything to go a little bit smoother for Cyclops, and for the character to be done right, the MCU would need to smash that subscribe button and ring the notification bell! <laughs> I love doing it two times, it's the best. On the more serious side though, the MCU would need to bring Jean Grey, and her presence to be a big game changer for Cyclops and his easy going with his teammates. The MCU could decide to do the death of Jean Grey storyline, but not right away. The fans first seeing Cyclops earn the respect of the others first, and then fall from grace. The character would be under a lot of pressure, to say the least, as he would have some big shoes to fill. But if Marvel delivers upon the astronomical expectations, then I've got no doubt that the character could become one of the favorites among the fans of the MCU, something Marvel particularly needs right now because some of the previous fan favorites are not among the active characters of the MCU. Hell, you might even replace Wolverine for everyone's favorite X-Man. Something that could be possible, knowing that in the year 2029, when the character faces his death, as per the movie, Logan. See you in the next video!